Theorem 7.9 is our 30-60-90 triangle theorem. This theorem tells us that in a 30-60-90 triangle, the triangle that has angles of 30 degrees, 60 degrees, and 90 degrees, the ratio of the sides is going to be, we see that it is actually a 1, where 1 is the shortest side, square root of 2, where square root of 2 is the other leg, to 2. Or, I'm sorry, not square root of 2. That was my fault. Square root of 3. And then 2. So we get 1 square root of 3, 2. So x, x times square root of 3, and 2x. Let's look at a couple of guided examples before I let you try one on your own. Let's say I told you that this smallest side here was 5. Well, then we know that the other leg is 5 times the square root of 3. And the hypotenuse is 5 times 2, which is 10. Okay, let's try another one. What if I told you that this longer leg was 7 times the square root of 3? Then the shorter leg, we divide by the square root of 3, so we're left with 7. And to go to the hypotenuse, we take the shortest leg and double it, which gives us 14. And one more. What if I tell you that your hypotenuse is, let's say, 20? Well, the shorter, shortest leg is half the hypotenuse, making this 10. And the longer leg is the shorter leg times the square root of 3, so we get 10 square root of 3. No matter what side length you're given in this triangle, the easiest thing is to first determine the shortest leg of this right triangle. Because that has the easiest relationship with both the hypotenuse and the longer leg. The shortest leg and the hypotenuse is in a 1 to 2 ratio. And the shortest leg and the longest leg are in a 1 to square root of 3 ratio. So it really is easiest to work around the shortest leg. Let's look at an example. Given these two triangles, and here root 3 simply means square root of 3, I want you to find the missing lengths. Take a moment, work this out on your own first, pause the video, and resume when you're ready to see the solutions. for this first triangle. Well, first of all, we notice 30 degrees, 90 degrees makes this 60 degrees. 90 degrees, 60 degrees makes this 30 degrees. So in both cases, we do have our 30, 60, 90 triangle, which puts us in a 1 square root of 3 and 2 ratio. For the first triangle, we are given the longer leg, so we're given the square root of 3 value. Again, it is easier to go straight to the shorter leg. Your shorter leg is going to be the longer leg divided by the square root of 3. So we get 9 over square root 3. Like above, we don't like having square roots in our denominator. So what we do is we multiply by square root of 3 over square root of 3. And I'm going to show this down here so we can see it a little better. Right now we have 9 square root 3. We're going to get rid of that square root in the denominator by multiplying by square root of 3 over square root of 3. This is the same as just multiplying by 1, so that's all right. What we get is 9 square root of 3 all over square root of 3 over times square root of 3, which is just 3. Now your 9 and your 3 reduce, giving us 3 square root 3. So here we have 3 square root 3. Now, to go from the shortest leg to the hypotenuse, we multiply by 2, and that gives us 6 times the square root of 3. That is your answer for the first triangle.